here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it. And if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. That's right, Xenosama had thrown a great wave of white energy to the ground that was assimilated to the moon, nevertheless a great explosion would be created by all that place. At the moment that everything was dissipated, Black and Kakarot would observe the moon filament. In that instant, both began to transform into two gigantic Uzorus. At the moment, Xenosama would say to himself, So you've achieved it. I hope you reach the transformation of Super Saiyan Phase 4 when you get all that majestic power. I'll absorb you! That's right, the Xenosama of the future was much more evil than the Xenosama of the past, and the only thing he wanted was the power beyond a king of everything. Xenosama watched as everything around him trembled and various spheres of energy destroyed the whole place. I, as the king of everything, I give you the ability, divine control. At that moment, a tiny ray came out of Xenosama's finger towards Black and Kakarot, who were able to regain consciousness managing to control all that power. What happened? Why does my body feel so much bigger? So, we've transformed into Zarus. At that moment, both began to transform into Super Saiyan Phase 4. Kakarot had access to the Super Saiyan Phase 4 blue, while black to his rose state. At that moment, the whole sky of the dimension began to have rays, and at that moment, both subjects would appear with their new transformations, leaving Xenosama surprised. The power they gave off is impressive. They even surpassed the power of Dai Shanken. There's still no match for me. I'd better finish them now that I can. However, Xenosama was not the only one who planned to finish them off, since at that moment Kakarot already wished to end Xenosama's life by communicating telepathically with Black. Now that we've obtained all this power, we're ready to finish with this dwarf, so get ready at the slightest opportunity, we'll do it! Don't you think it's too soon? We must master all this power! We could do that on our own, since that miserable dwarf also wants to finish us off! What do you say? Why do you think that? He has been training us. As far as I can tell, what he wants is to take our powers. Since his key power is mixed with the Guardian Angels, there's no other explanation. That's right, Kakarot, by leaving his kind side, had become much more intelligent and cold, not letting anything go unnoticed. At that moment, Xenosama would approach them. Congratulations, you've reached Super Saiyan Phase 4. Now just master your power, that is essential for your key, as it's not so heavy and have better agility in battles. Black and Kakarot began to train. Xenosama was also looking for the opportunity to finish with one of them in one blow or leave them on the verge of death, because if being joined together they would be a real problem. At the end of their training both were a little exhausted, or that was what Xenosama believed, since both subjects were also reserving energy for an unexpected attack. At that very moment, Xenosama would launch an attack. It is now, mere mortals, I'll keep your powers. Xenosama would direct a powerful blow to Black, who did not have the same power as Kakarot. Since this one was a little weaker, however, he was surprised when Black had increased his power from one moment to another, pushing him away with the explosion of his key. So you really wanted to finish with all of us. You're a bastard. You never wanted to help us increase our power. You only wanted us to be part of you. There's no point in hiding my intentions. You're right. I just wanted you to become more powerful than take your power for myself. Too bad that won't be possible, because now we're capable of entering your miserable life. Ha 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 ha. Don't make me laugh, you fucking mortal. They must have no energy since they just finished their training, so you're not able to do anything against me. Why don't you check for yourself if we can't do anything back? Xenosama Furious would throw himself against Kakarot and Black, but to his surprise, both released a power even greater than Xenosama knew. That's right, the power of both had been so much that it would leave even Xenosama surprised. I can't be. This hasn't been happening. I've trained those damn monsters. I create all in my life. Those Saiyans just like me from the beginning through to the end of my life. At that moment, Black and Kakarot threw themselves against Xenosama, who in spite of being a king of everything, was not able to do anything. That's right, Xenosama seemed to be a simple insect. The power of Black and Kakarot hid was even so great that it surpassed the power of a king of everything. 
and they were capable of facing three Xenosamas at the same time. After Black Kakra had humiliated him in the worst way, they had left him very badly injured on the floor. <laughs> so you call yourself a king of everything? You've bitten the dust more times than I can remember. You're nothing more than a simple insect. We're the only true ones to be called the kings of all. Not a simple weakling like you, who doesn't even know how to rule the universes. Damn you! I should never have trusted such cursed subjects as you. I should have absorbed you from the beginning. The worst creation in all existence. Well, a simple creation will finish the king of everything. How funny, don't you think? In that instant, Black and Kakara would touch the body of Xenosama, starting to devour all his spiritual sea. All that power was entering the body of Kakarot and Black. That's right, their bodies seemed to fill with energy. The screams of Xenosama were chilling. Xenosama at that moment regretted having finished with the lives of all the angels, since they also felt all this agony. At the moment that Xenosama was without power, they stopped absorbing energy. At that moment, the power of both Saiyans had increased in an incredible way. That's right, the power of both subjects already surpassed the power of a king altogether. This power is amazing. We must control it and we'll st finally start with what we've been wishing for a long time. At that moment, Kakarot would charge a sphere of energy, throwing it to the weakened Xenosama, finishing with the life of this one and not leaving any trace. You're right, Black. Let's master all this power and we'll finally finish with all those bastards. Kakarot and Black began to control all the power they had absorbed from Xenosama. Meanwhile, on the planet of Earth in the past, there was one day left for the Tournament of Power, in which everyone was ready. So, Universe 7 would look very confident in taking the victory. The next day, the big moment had come. The members of Universe 7 would be Frieza, Vegeta, Piccolo, Gohan, Trunks, Master Roshi, Krillin, Tenshinhan, and Androids 17 and 18. That's right, all these warriors would be the representatives of Universe 7. Well, I hope you're ready, because in five minutes the High Priest will teleport us to the realm of nothingness. I trust you. You have the necessary power, so you can do it. At that moment, all the warriors would be teleported to the realm of nothingness, and at the moment of arriving, not so much had happened in which all the universes would begin to arrive. At the moment of arriving, the Universe 11, all the warriors gave off an amazing power, leaving surprised all the other gods and participants of the tournament. At that moment, at the top of the hole, the Great Priest would make an appearance. Thank you all for coming. The rules that I explained in the Tournament of Strength are still maintained, so the best universe will win. Start! In that moment, all the warriors were launched against everyone. That's right, the Tournament of Power had begun. Meanwhile, in the Room of Time, after... After that year, Black and Kakarot had been able to dominate all that heavy power. It's time, Kakarot. We're able to powerfully be enough. I agree with you, Black. It's time to pay those bastards a visit. Black would raise his power a little, being able to open a dimension, through which Black and Kakarot would leave. At the moment of leaving, Black would use his time ring, creating a space rift. But unlike before, Black, to overcome the power of a king of everything, had the ability to stay in that place as long as he wished and would not be dragged by the space-time. Black and Kakarot would arrive to planet Earth, observing everything at the moment, Bulma noticed two subjects. She'd panic. B -b -b but if it's Goku and Black, aren't you two supposed to be trapped? So you Bulma knew that Vegeta's insect did it to me, and you agreed. Now because of that act, I'm going to wipe out this whole miserable planet. Bulma would not believe what Goku would say since she knew him since he was a child and knew that his behavior was not like that. But her impression was great when she realized that Goku was talking seriously. That's right, the Goku she knew was dead. His heart now possessed evil. Kakarot didn't care about destroying the Earth with a single attack. That's right, the planet Earth at that moment would explode, ending the lives of all mortals. Kakarot and Black searched quickly the entire universe without success. Damn it! Where the hell are those damned ones? At that moment, Kakarot would remember the Tournament of Power, and by teleporting to the planet of Beerus, his doubts would be completely solved. Black, all the gods, angels, and most powerful mortals are in that place that Xenosama Daishaken created for the Tournament of Power. That'll be a problem since we don't know how to get to that place. Kakarot and Black were in deep thought. However, at that moment, 
they had been able to feel the power of Xenosama. That's right, since they both possessed a key in the same dimension of a king that they would be able to feel the power of Xenosama. Kakarot and Black would use hoods that would cover their entire face, and at that moment, they would teleport. <laughs> However, both had enough power to disappear their key completely, and prostrate themselves in a place that was even higher than the High Priest. Observing everything that had happened, at the moment that both subjects had arrived, at the moment no universe had been destroyed. However, the two subjects stared at the entire Universe 7, especially the Saiyan Vegeta who felt a strong pressure falling on him. What the hell is happening? I feel a pressure crushing me. Vegeta, without giving importance, would pass to the Super Saiyan Blue to relieve a little pressure. That moment, Black, without containing his anger, from above would give a scream. Prince good for nothing! You're nothing! Your power is a shame! At that moment, all the fights had stopped when observing two guys who were at the top of the mountain. Damn worm! What did you say? What you heard, insect? Your prince good for nothing! Vegeta Furious would launch an attack, giving him a few good blows to Black. However, all the angels realized that although Vegeta's blows would hit, he wasn't hurting him. Vegeta at that moment would realize the power of his opponents passing the Super Saiyan Blue maximum power, making everything tremble and leaving surprised all the other gods. If you raise your power, I'll do the same. At that moment, Black began to increase his power, leaving everyone surprised, even Daishenken. Black's power seemed to have no limits. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video.